The Dawes Act of 1887, also known as the General Allotment Act, was a U.S. federal law that aimed to assimilate Native Americans into mainstream American society by providing cooperating families with 160 acres of reservation land for farming or 320 acres for grazing. However, the act was illegal because the lands in question were protected by treaties, and it shortchanged Native Americans by selling them small plots, knowing that there would be excess. The surplus land was then sold to white people by the government. The Dawes Act of 1887 violated the promise of the United States that the Indian Territory would remain Indian land forever, completed the obliteration of tribal land titles in Indian Territory, and prepared for admission of territory land to the Union as the state of Oklahoma. The act sought to destroy the social cohesion of Indian tribes and to therefore uh, eliminate the remaining vestiges of Indian culture and society. Only by disavowing their own traditions, it was believed, could the Indians ever truly become American. <clears throat> According to the Indian Land Tenure Foundation, as a result of the Dawes Act, approximately 90 million acres of Indian land were taken out of Indian ownership and control from 1887 until 1934. This is the equivalent of two-thirds of all tribal land holdings at the time. From 1887 until 1934, 60 million acres of surplus Indian lands were sold or transferred to non-Indians. While the Dawes Act was not the only land grab in the U.S. history, it was one of the most significant. However, it was met with resistance from many tribes. Some tribes refused to cooperate with the Dawes Commission, which was responsible for implementing the act, and others petitioned the government to repeal the act. In some cases, tribes went to war to resist the act, such as the Sioux and the Dakotas and the Apache in Arizona. The act also met with opposition from prominent Native American leaders, such as Sitting Bull and Geronimo. While the Dawes Act was not directly related to the Wounded Knee Massacre, it was part of a broader context of U.S. government policy aimed at controlling and assimilating American Indians.